All of the electrics are being disconnected from this wall, hence all the like holes and stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so we are working on the kitchen again today. So last video I showed you guys that we ripped out pretty much all of the kitchen, most of the tiles. To, um, the electrician came the other day and disconnected loads of the electrics. And today we're gonna be attempting to knock this all out. So I said in the last video that the cabinet that was there and this one had electrics in the back of them. Our electricians have disconnected those so we can take those out and get them out of the way. We're gonna try and keep this in situ for as long as possible. We sold the washing machine on Facebook Marketplace, still using the washing machine, not the washing machine, dishwasher. Um, all of the electrics are being disconnected from this wall, hence all the like holes and stuff. So this is what we're gonna be working on. Steve's already started take, well he's taken off all of the um, architrave from around the door. And we just need to rip out this corner unit because that also had electrics in it previously. And yeah, and then hopefully we could just knock this out, but first time ever knocking a wall down, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be so, an interesting one, that's for sure. The electrician said it probably won't take us long to knock it down, but it'll take us a long time to clean it up. Um, <laughs> So, we'll see.
right so here is where we're at we're so so nearly done with it um so as you would have seen we knocked all the plaster off all the plasterboard um and we loaded it into the car so steve has actually just gone to the tip i feel like i'm semi taking glory for this but like um i don't want you guys to think that i took all these studs out by myself because steve actually took all of these out so he just sawed through them they're basically all just kind of nailed in so he just pulled them out annoyingly we forgot to take that one bit of plasterboard off because i think we just got a bit too overexcited so i'm just trying to loosen up this door frame now which is a bit frustrating um but yeah we're very nearly there it is so crazy standing here and looking at this all like open plan it's kind of this is the first time that we've actually seen the whole space as one and what it will be kind of when it's done so it's really really cool it's kind of basically looking the same sort of size i thought it would i was worried we'd knock the wall down and be like oh that looks way smaller than we thought but yeah we are getting there just a couple little more bits to do also with the general plans so the electrician is coming back in a few days he's going to do first fix of electrics so obviously along that back wall there we're going to have like our hob oven um so he's got to do wiring for that he's got to do wiring for our pantry and we're also going to have a socket here above the worktop so he's got to do that as well so once this is all out i'm probably going to mark out exactly where all the units are going and exactly where i want all of my sockets to go as well he also needs to put one back in for the dishwasher not this dishwasher all of our appliances have actually just arrived this morning as well so they're all in the garage ready to go we ordered our kitchen yesterday as well so things are starting to happen once the so the electrician's coming on wednesday to do first fix on the thursday the um we're having the ceilings plastered and also like this wall plastered as well we thought we'd just get them done in one go um and obviously i think there's going to be some touch-up work to do so i'll see if they can do that as well um makes sense to all kind of do it in one go um yeah so it's all starting to happen we've still got our little makeshift kitchen here um and that will stay like that for a while we've got this <laughs> um temporary barrier because obviously we don't want the dogs coming in here there's one dog and the other dog is hidden over there um so yeah that's all our flooring over there and this is all the underlay for our flooring so oh, we're getting there um so obviously plan of action once the ceilings have been plastered obviously we have to wait for them to dry properly before we can paint them um and once we have painted all the fresh plaster we are having that radiator removed and we're having one installed there which is going to be the same as that one over there um and then once that's in then we can do the flooring then we can install the kitchen he um the guy doing the radiators also needs to cap that off in the floor he couldn't access it before because of where the kitchen units were that is the connection to the old hob i think um yeah so there's a lot of stuff to do it's fun to see it come together but it's also very terrifying at this point because we have so much more to do i think that's it isn't it yeah it's everything whoop, whoop. so steve's just gotten out the very last piece this doorway bit nice. was an absolute <laughs> bitch wasn't it yeah. so yeah everything has gone now i can't remember what i showed you guys last got some nice exposed block work here bit of a feature um yeah it's looking honestly it blows my mind it's looking like so much bigger than what it did before which is obvious because obviously there's nothing in here to make it look smaller so yeah next thing to tackle well one of the next things is ripping up this flooring we just thought it was one sheet of lino turns out i think it's about 10 different sheets so that's going to be a bit of a job um steve's gotten rid of the whole wall already pretty much haven't you it's in like at the tip oh the plasterboard yeah all the plasterboard's gone we've just taken the wood outside with a couple of other little cabinets that we've just taken out um we're gonna call it a day here we're gonna have a little bit of a tidy right, up obviously right. Tidy up and then, yeah, probably. I think I'm quite tired now. I'm also very tired. We need to put something over this so that we don't trip up on it. Just 
put just put two chairs over it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm gonna sign this vlog off here. Um, good day's work. Yep. Shout out to Wreck It Steve um, for getting the demo done. Um, but yeah, obviously, as you guys can see, lots more to come because we're not gonna live like this for long, are we? Um, hell, no. hell no. So yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, um, like the video because it really, really supports my channel and I will see you guys, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.